Is the MG ZSEV really dangerous? In this video we're going to be looking at how it did in the recent 2019 Yodo NCAP crash test and we're going to be looking at how it compares to some of the other electric cars. If over the last few months you've seen some of the other reviews on the MG ZSEV you've probably seen how some of the reviewers have been trying to scare people by saying that it will probably only score three or four stars at most for safety. This is because the petrol MG ZS had only gained three stars a couple of years ago in 2017 when it was tested. What a surprise it must be for them to hear that only a few days ago the MG ZS EV actually scored the maximum five stars. How must they be feeling now after trying to knock the MG? Now let's have a look and see how the MG compares to the MG ZS EV in 2019. So here we can see the Euro NCAP safety test for the MGs. The MG ZS relates back to 2017 and scored three stars. And from 2019, the MG ZS EV scored five stars. You can see that the safety areas have been broken down into four main categories. So if we look at the ZS, you can see adult occupants scored 71%. The EV scored 90%. That is a 19% increase for the electric version. Child occupants scored 51% on the ZS. On the EV it scored 85%. That's 34% increase which is massive and obviously very important for child safety. Then if we look down we can see pedestrian impact of vulnerable road users. The names change slightly there but it still involves obviously pedestrians and road, other road users. On the ZS it scored 59% and on the EV scored 64%. It's only a 5% increase but that can make a big difference between life and death. And lastly safety assist, the ZS got 29% and the EV got 70%. That's a full 41% more by the EV. Obviously it's got a lot more safety features in the EV such as MG pilot and blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning and forward collision prevention. So it's got a lot more safety features hence why it's scored a lot higher. Now let's quickly look and see how the EV compares to some of the other electric vehicles on the market. So here we can see the Audi e-tron. So the EV doesn't score as highly as the Audi e-tron in any area apart from child occupant. So that's still a good score though of 85% and all the other scores are still good and not too far from the e-trons. So for the money you'd expect a car which is costing between 50 and 60,000 more to score a lot more than uh, the MG. Now let's have a look at the MG EV against Mercedes-Benz EQC. You can see that Mercedes-Benz scores higher in all areas and it does score pretty well at 96% for adult occupancy, 90% for child occupant, vulnerable road users 75 and safety assist at 75. So the Mercedes scores really well, a lot better than the e-tron. Now let's have a look at the MG against the Porsche Taycan. You can see here that the adult occupant scored 85 and the child occupant is 83. Both those scores are lower than the MG which is quite surprising. Vulnerable road users and safety assist is higher than the MG. But once again you'd expect a vehicle costing about £100,000 to score a lot higher than the MG which is costing about £24,000. Now if we look at the Tesla Model 3 that scores really well for adult occupant and child occupant safety. Vulnerable road user 74, safety assist 94. So the safety assist you can see 94 really high there compared to the MG. And all the scores are higher than the MG. But once again you are paying over £30,000 more for, for the Tesla. So you would expect it to score better. But still it's a great showing for the MG EV. Rounding up the premium models is the Jaguar I-Pace, adult occupant 91%, child occupant only 81%, that's 4% less than the child occupant in the MG, vulnerable road users 73% and safety assist 81%. So once again the Jaguar in three areas score more than the MG but obviously in the child occupancy is lower by 4%. 
so you would expect Jaguar to be a lot higher than the MG once again. Now let's have a look at the Nissan Leaf. This is a test from 2018. You can see the adult occupant is 93%, child occupant 86%, vulnerable road user 71% and then safety assist 71%. So once again, all those scores are higher than the MG, but only by a, a small margin. So now if we look at the Renault Zoe, this relates to the test in 2013. It scores five stars. Adult occupancy, 89%. Child occupant, 80%. So both those are lower than the MG. And the last two is pedestrian and safety assist. So they're 66% and 85%. Both those are higher than the MG. But the pedestrian and vulnerable road users test are, are different then. So you can't really compare them like for like. So once again you can see the MG has done better than the Renault Zoe in all but the safety assist. Below you should be able to find links for all the vehicles that will take you through to the Euro NCAP safety test. It will show a full breakdown of the scores achieved in all the areas, plus you'll be able to find videos of the actual vehicles being tested. That's all for this video. I hope you found the comparisons of the crash test interesting. If you did, please feel free to like and comment. If you disliked the video, please comment below why so I can make the videos better for everybody. In the next video, I'll be giving an update on the problems I've had and answering questions many people have asked about the MGZS EV. Thanks for watching.